Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly, so if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. And today I'm going to be unboxing two parcels sent to me from eBay. Now these are both stick insect species. I know you've seen a lot of stick insect stuff coming on the channel lately and there is a big reason behind that. Something that I can't really reveal yet. But let's just say there's a lot of breeding going on for a very specific reason. So I don't actually know which one is which out of these two parcels. I know what I've ordered, but they were two different sellers and I don't know what's what. So I'm going to crack open the one that comes in a cat food box first, just because I find that amusing. And we'll see which one this is. <laughs> so the Felix box is open. Ta-da. In here, packed well. Make sure everything is alive. Oh, before I show you, I've got a little note here. Is this a care sheet? Yes, a care sheet. Right, I'll actually read through this by myself in a moment, but that's really good for an eBay seller to provide you with a care sheet. Oh, and it says 10 plus three free. So I've actually gained some extras just in case any shed uh, in transit and die. So that's really good for the seller to do that because unfortunately that does happen with stick insects. They need the space to molt and if they molt in transit, they do quite often die. So what is it I've got here? These are the M. bullosa stick insects. Murciano bullosa, I don't quite know the pronunciation. Now I'll give you a better close up of these guys in just a moment. I just want to check that everything is alive and well. Now this is not a beginner species. So if you are new in the hobby, I don't recommend getting these. They're also a slightly more pricey species to get hold of, and they've held their price for a long, long time. Now, these are good size nymphs, although small. The seller is not selling them far too young for transit. And so far, I see no deaths in here. There's one breaking, breaking free. <laughs> cool. Right, I'll give you a better close-up of these at the end of the video. We're going to open the other box. Now, I've bought from this seller before. This was the one that I got my stick insects from on my Risks of eBay buying video. And I was really happy with the way the seller approached everything, pretty much. And she had in stock another species I was after. And this is, for your entertainment, another flying species. But they won't have their wings yet. Not unless she's chucked in any older ones. And within the box is more packing. And a note again. Oh! Oh yes, I forgot. I actually ordered some Ova with her too, which is just here. Now the Ova I've ordered were the Pseudophasma fulva minca. I actually got a load of eggs off her for just a quid. Um, they were the flying ones where the male had passed away in my pickups from, from Entercon video. So she's left a little note saying, saying thank you for purchasing. She's told me the food plants and she's left her email address here as well. And it's also told you how to care for Ova on here, which is really, really good. And these are the Necroscria Analipes. Analipes? Analipes. I don't know how to pronounce things, okay? <laughs> Analipes. Necroscia Analipes. That's what we're going with. Now, I love these. I, I, I'm terrified of them too. I'm not actually scared of the stick insect, but I don't like things flying in my face. Right, let's see how little these are. Oh, wow. So she's provided a good amount of netting for them to hold on to in the tub. Nice secure tub with privet, which is what they eat. So that's it for the actual unboxing. So what I'll do now is I'll just leave you with some clips of these insects. <laughs> 